Hello, hello, hello. Eating Toblerone. This is true Christmas for me. This is so good. <laughs> mm. The best. <laughs> it is the best chocolate in the world and I'm cheating with this chocolate now I'm cheating on my veganism because this chocolate is unfortunately not vegan and I feel bad about it we're bad <coughs> and many years ago I wrote to the chocolate factory that makes this in Switzerland, Tobler was actually founded in, eight, in the 1800s. That's how old this, this chocolate factory is. And these are actually shaped after the mountains in Switzerland, they have very, very high peak A-frame mountains. Mountains that have been pushed up very, very high through, through those, the plates pushing together inside of the Earth's crust. And that created A-frame mountains and they make this make this chocolate with honey and there are there are these honey type of i don't know like a honey custard type of things that are inside and they taste really 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 sweet and delicious they have good ingredients in it but they have cream in it and that is coming from, unfortunately, that's that's not coming from an Ahimsa farm, I assume. No. So I have to explain all of this to people. Most people don't know. This is probably coming from a regular commercial farm in Switzerland. The, the, the cream, the milk. And you know, just cream or condensed con condensed cream really heavy cream that they sell to those chocolate factories and obviously that comes out of the udder of a mother cow who should be feeding her baby with that milk but what they do is and that's the that's the horror of it they tear the babies away from the mothers and the mother and the baby screams and they're in total despair. That's like taking, is if I had a, a nursing baby and someone would come and take that baby away from me, that would be, all hell would break loose if that happened, you know. So they do it to cows. That's equally bad. It's equally unethical. That's why this is unethical. So and that's why I wrote them many years ago, a letter, and I politely asked if they could phase over to vegan, yeah. or at least have make one that is whole food vegan.
we can make it the same way but instead of the cream instead of the animal based grease they can use a plant based cream so you can make plant based creams and the best way the best way I've tried many many different plant milks almond milk soy milk oat milk from the commercial plant milks I liked the soy milk the best it tasted the best to me and there's one in Michigan Eden Foods this is a gourmet whole food organic very very high standard organic company the I guess they make a lot of their products themselves and they make the absolute best soy milk in the, in the world they they make a carob flavored soy milk organic and I used to buy these 12 packs from them on a regular basis but that got very very expensive because then you have to calculate the shipping into it and and each box costs like eighty dollars or something so it was insane so I stopped doing that because it's just way way too costly so and then I I stopped getting money from my parents now I have to really really be frugal and so Paul was Paul was generous this Christmas and got us a box of those so but I do feel I feel very very bad that this is not vegan so this video is an appeal an appeal to the Tobler com company in Switzerland to make at least one of those make the largest one and the lar they have a really really big one that's like a meter long or something make that one in vegan or make one of these here in vegan or vegan whole food vegan and I figured out through making my own milkshakes vegan whole food vegan milkshakes I figured out how to make the absolute creamiest creamy 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 cream out of just plant materials and it's very simple the way you make it is you take two cups of large cups of rolled oats put that into the blender my husband figured out how to make it make it blend better you let that sit in water for a couple of hours first so that it can actually soften up and and expand a little bit and swell up you know so that it is that is easy to break apart in the blender and become more like a like a creamy pudding material and so that really works if you have enough time you can let that sit for a couple of hours and then and then have it ready to blend and then you put you can sweeten it with a banana or you can sweeten you can put pitted dates into it organic that's probably the best sweetener in the world better than honey because honey also is really technically not vegan because it was made by bees but I personally don't consider that to be that's not a sentient animal product of course so that is made by bees and and it doesn't hurt the bees I think it actually helps the bees the bee population 
because they set up the facilities for them. They set up, uh, they have specific buildings where they have the, I don't know, they have shelves in there where the bees can go in and have just the perfect beehive situation. So in that sense, it is, I think it is, um, correct me if you know more, you know, maybe I don't know the whole story, but I think it helps the bee populations. And so in that sense, and, and I think honey and also everything that the bee creates, they create antibi natural antibiotics and, and incredible cosmetic ingredients for rejuvenation and, and boosting the immune system and bees wax, you know, the actual honeycomb is made out of the beeswax that the bees create they create this whole thing they create the most amazing aroma the mo most amazing scent and i used to buy beeswax candles and beeswax sheets and they also sold beeswax crayons stockmark is the comp is the company in germany they sell beeswax crayons and we used to use those in the waldorf school a lot and they smell heavenly and they're all colored with the the pigments are from natural plants so everything is biodynamic and 100 percent natural it's amazing and the company companies Velida and Dr. Hoshka, those are the absolute world top cosmetic companies. They top they are they're towering way, way, way over any other cosmetic companies. So they have always been my absolute favorites. Velida and Dr. Hauschka. Dr. Hauschka was founded by also by an a follower of Dr. Rudolf Steiner, Dr. Hauschka, also, also a physician. I think he was a physician. And Dr. Rudolf Steiner, who was teaching about biodynamic agriculture and warning people about soil depletion already way back around, around the 1920s. And nobody listened to him. And now we have soil depletion. We have, they, t they keep taking away the food from, from d during their harvest. They keep, keep taking away the, the fruit, the actual food harvest, you know, the actual fruits, the actual roots and whatever they're growing, they take that away. People eat it. And when people poop it out, the dung doesn't get decomposed and put back onto the soil the way it normally is in nature. No, they pump it, pump that way. They go into sewage treatment facilities where that stuff gets gets processed in a in a completely anti-environmental way. Oftentimes, the wastewater from that is being dumped into watersheds, which is absolutely polluting the, the ocean, rivers, watersheds, groundwater, and all of it. This is totally, this is completely unvisionary. This is completely like short-sightedness, and it causes so much destruction. So... All of these subjects fall into this. All of that falls into it. And I can just go on and on and on about it because so much is in commerce is done the wrong way that hurts sustainability on this planet. I mean, so much, like in, in a completely wide spectrum of fields. 
So, and one way definitely where the chocolate industry is going wrong is by using the products from cows, you know, the, the, the milk, the cream that's supposed to go to the calf, to the baby cow, to nurture and feed the baby cow. Everything should be in a 100% wholesome, complete, holistic life cycle. And we need to completely reform to, to one household composting system that are comp a comp complete all the way around composting systems so that everything can be decomposed by scavenger insects and mainly by earthworms they get very very big and they are wonderful amazing important beings they are the most important beings on this planet because they recycle waste okay so we could not exist without those animals, okay? They are so extremely important, more important than any other being, because we need them. They are our recycling system, recycling units, okay? So people need to do this. They need to put then the recycled, fresh-smelling, black, er nutrient-rich earth soil, back into their gardens and they can grow the most amazing stuff and the stuff will, will be very healthy and it will be pest resistant too because it will have real extremely high functioning immune system the reason why they started to introduce pesticides which caused even more damage to this the environment and everything is I started doing that because then they had pest invasions and the reason why they started to have all these aphids and 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 other lice and and pests and insects that would eat away on the plants is because they did monoculture first of all they did like they they cultivated just one particular plant over acres and uh, hundreds of acres so that's monoculture that is not natural that is not how nature works okay in nature you have to have a plant diversity you have to have different plants mixed in with each other because they help each other out in terms of repelling insects and so there there's no way that then one particular pest insect can completely expand like this over hundreds of acres because of that monoculture first of all and also the the pest insects started to get out of control because the plant's immune system was not stable anymore because they had not been putting the decomposed earth soil from the compost back onto the fields so they have for for like for over a century long been taking away the nutrients and that also causes terrible immune illnesses including the c word in animals and humans okay and even in plants so this is real serious what people are doing they don't seem to be understanding what's going on I wonder if this is even taught in universities in the field of agriculture and how to take care of plants and how to cultivate food plants. And first of all, animal agriculture needs to be completely phased out. This is wrong. It's unethical. Mm -hmm. We don't need it. Humans do not need to eat meat. This has been scientifically proven. The reason why people, why men make such a fuss, men in particular, make such a fuss about this when someone suggests harmlessly on Facebook in the Free Thinkers Allowed group, just this Thanksgiving, make a vegan turkey. Oh, 
and the haters. Thousands of hateful, vengeful men came after me. And they made such a fuss about this. And Don't you tell us how to live. Or I didn't tell them how to live their lives. I just said, maybe, maybe just this Thanksgiving, try it out, right? No, they got real, real mad. The reason why is, and I talked about this yesterday in my video, what's underneath is shame. You know, they have been told by their dads who also have been told the same lie about men, you know, men need to, they need to be carnivores. That's it, somehow manly. And how can me, Nicola, take that away from them? How can I take your manliness away? I can't, okay? If matter of fact is, if you became a whole food vegan, you your manliness would start to flourish. <laughs> yeah, people don't seem to understand this. And you know, the, you know, the man boobs would get would straighten out and then man boob jitter fat would get dissolved and and because they don't have milk glands unless they give themselves estrogen injections but you know that would all balance itself back out so they would have manly breasts chests again if they became whole food vegan it's true and of course reversed for us women you know it will be extremely nutritious for us and we would balance out our bodies and we would also you know the the maybe excess water that some women have i've seen this and I've seen this, seen that on the internet. I don't have that. I'm lucky with this. But also, you know, like excess fats and like excess fat in the in the belly region and all of this that can balance out. And the breasts can be actually more getting even more whole and expanded and and be healthy and become might become even bigger and so good nutrition is very very important with this for people who want for women who want to expand their breasts good nutrition will do it you know so And you eliminate the risk of breast cancer and those kind of things. And I heard that men can get breast cancer too. That's all. I'll move it over. Oh, I had that. <laughs> so, and um, I this this is very serious. Pesticide cause breast cancer and testicular cancer very important people need to know that if you use that kind of stuff you really increase your your risk by like 400 times that's so serious so never ever use pesticides on anything okay, very very important my message to Tobla make at least one or one of each size and whole food vegan and this is the best formulation that i figured out to make whole food vegan cream really 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 tasty and creamy without the cow taste of course without the pus kind of taste yeah. i don't even want that taste anymore that cow taste because I associate suffering with that now. So the way you make that is 
you soak rolled oats in water for a couple of hours you put it in the blender or you, you mix you soak that in the blender for a couple of hours you can you'll probably have really large machines in the Tobler factory right where everything gets churned for many many days where it becomes really really creamy and where everything is churned together so but this is the formulation for creamy whole food milk um, plant milk plant all plant-based whole food vegan soaked rolled oats in water and they will probably use some honey for sweetener and you also put in with it you put in calcium carbonate chunks okay wherever you know there are calcium carbonate deposits in the earth and you can buy that in bulk for a, a chocolate factory for sure and you put a certain amount certain percentage of calcium carbonate and that's also very very healthy and very good for bone stability and all of that actually I read that that is much more bioavailable calcium for the body than milk is actually so the milk industry the dairy industry has lied to people about this they lie you know those industries they blatantly lie so plant-based or from mineral deposits from the earth from earth sedimentations calcium carbonates much more bioavailable and and gets better assimilated by your body and the nutrients of it the calcium used for bone development for healthy bone structure and strong bone structure and also for our for our brain for neurochemistry very very important to create to for the building of the the myelin sheets which are basically like if you compare that to an electric cord you know inside are the wires but they have to be insulated by a plastic sheet by a plastic hose so that they don't electrocute each other when they are running past each other and in the brain it's highly compacted so they have to be each each axon which is which is the the very 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 long electric cord of wiring basic you know if you want to use this analysis the axon is a very very long wire basically but made out of its cell material that conducts electricity that conducts electric impulses you know that then will be converted between the cells into chemicals that will then create an action potential of more electric wiring in the next cell that's how they communicate with each other and in order to not to sh not shorten each other out or get all jumbled up they ha these axons like electric wires they have to be wrapped into a myelin sheet which is a fatty kind of tissue fatty you know like the raw oil based plastic rubber type of hose that is covering an electric cord it works in the same way in the brain okay and in order for good brain functioning you know the calcium has to feed also or and other minerals have to feed these myelin sheets that are wrapping that are that are insulating the axons and also the dendrites that come directly out of the soma out of the the cell body as well they go out there too and dock onto others so it's like one big spider you know, that docks onto other spiders 
that's how it works so we need these minerals to be available for ourselves and in milk they are not bioavailable in the same way they are they're much more encapsulated in i don't know triglycerides and cholesterol and all of these things are very very bad for the body the body should be able to create its own triglycerides and cholesterol and and its own mono and polyunsaturated fats in its own way not be overly fed and overloaded with animal base animal products that are containing these kind of fats that actually cause a blockage of this type of assimilation to to happen in the body so it's very complex <coughs> so to create <coughs> a very creamy plant-based milk out of oats soaked in water and calcium carbonate blended together it tastes absolutely heavenly i have tasted it i've also blended chia seeds into it you can also that's also better if you let the chia seeds soak their their chia seeds are from south america that's a really really amazing plant high in protein has 10 times more protein than rice and it doesn't have the arsenic that that is normally found in rice because the the soil is already polluted with arsenic in in Asia and and in other places so chia seeds are very 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 healthy for us and if you soak them for a long time then you put them in the blender you blend all of this together out comes like a custard that is that that that's almost like jello that cre actually creates its own like a rubber surface almost you know like a pudding and it functions like a pudding and you can make amazing desserts with that you can make amazing pie custards and and pie fillings and 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 amazing pastry fillings and all kinds of things and that can go into this entire chocolate material so i don't know how they create this chocolate to become firm like this um hmm, because the cocoa powder itself i don't know if that creates that firmness but obviously dairy cream doesn't create that firm firmness so I don't know how they create the firmness so if they put I think they put cocoa butter in it that creates this firmness I think that's how this has this solidity so in the same sense you know the whole vegan the whole food vegan cream with oats and calcium carbonate and I would say you know you put about I don't know maybe five percent or ten percent just maybe just five percent of the calcium carbonate in with with the the old water solution so and the old water ratio has to be I, w I would say approximately yeah one third of rolled oats and two thirds water okay and then from that entire whole five percent calcium carbonate added to it and then blend that together you have the most amazing cream and that will be that will not be sweet so in order to sweeten it you can put a banana in with it you can put pitted organic dates in it or organic figs dried figs and you, you blend that together and it would be absolutely wholesome and delicious and also for the chocolate companies i highly recommend to face away from white refined sugar very important i can also taste pinches 
of salt in it. They probably use table salt. They might use sea salt, which is better. But those are not the best. The best salt to use in any kind of food is pink Himalayan sea salt, which is a sedimentation of pink salts. I, I think that pigment of the, the white coming from calcium and and the pink coming, maybe coming from iron that mixed together creates this pink color in the salt and it has an opaque, like a, like a partly translucent effect and not crystalline like refined salt or table salt is. You know. And it's full of minerals, full of nutrients. It is, it's not complete refined salt, you know, which is not good for us. It is a, in a wholesome, it's a wholesome, complex salt. And that is way better for us. And even that, we should not be overdoing it. Just use a little bit uh, on the food. Whether it's chocolate or desserts or salty dishes, you know, don't overdo the salt in general. But only use pink Himalayan sea salt. Those That is definitely the best of all. So I highly recommend to them to create a chocolate that is made with that whole vegan cream that I suggested with the oats soaked in water and calcium carbonate and that would be an amazing substitute and that would really really make the most amazing chocolate and get the chocolate from fair trade of course. But I personally have been wishing to phase out cocoa because I know that cocoa does contain that marijuana chemical and I would rather not put that in my body even though it's in really small amounts I'd rather phase that out. I am addicted to chocolate though to that taste but I want to eventually phase that out and replace it with carob, the carob bean. And in LA, on the street where we were living, there were many carob trees. And these carob pods, they would fall down and they would almost look like a Toblerone. And we gave them to our dogs and they'd shoot them up. They loved them. And Carob is good. It's healthy for dogs. Chocolate is not good for dogs. You cannot give your dogs chocolate. It's toxic for them. And just the fact that it is toxic for dogs, like dogs have died from eating chocolate bars. I don't know how many they eat. Probably three or something. You know, For a small dog, that can be absolutely lethal. And just the fact that chocolate is toxic for dogs makes me think that it is probably also not that good. It's not, I don't know. They said, they say it has some healthy ingredients in it. No doubt about it. There are some so-called phytochemicals and, and antioxidants and some nutrients in it. But it also has the marijuana stuff in it and it has it has other things in it that it's it's actually coming from that cocoa seed which is not supposed to be eaten by an animal but people have ground it up and they tasted it and they liked it and so that's how it came about already hunters and gatherers I guess were already discovering this so but you know in tropical regions but I would rather phase it out and use the carob pod instead and and just and process that in the same way that cocoa bean the cocoa seed is processed and then make it all whole food vegan so that is kind of like my dream for the future if I could ever create a chocolate factory or make a carob 
Kerb Candy factory out of it and make something. Not use the shape because I this is definitely this belongs to Tobler the shape. But create my own shape, you know. Not make an Easter bunny or a Christmas figure, Santa Claus or something that is hollow. But create my own shape you know I'm an artist so I would definitely create my own shape and tomorrow I'm gonna make a video and I'm gonna make another alien for my new art project that is called the alien spaceship has arrived I've already made one alien which I showed in my previous videos I will make a yellow alien tomorrow with play-doh and it's perfect that it is yellow because it's going to be placed where the, the one hole is that area I have already painted in yellow that an entire area and then I will just put that into that hole will be like this deep where it is fitting into the hole but the rest of the of the sculpture is a little bit bigger that will be on top on the surface and then once those are dried I will also use masking tape on the very bottom to affix fix this onto the ground so that it there's no way that this will ever come out of its out of that hole it might come out if it gets shaken up or something so I'll make sure once this is hardened I will also masking tape um, masking tape this to the ground and then it will be strong and then I will paint over it again with yellow so I did this already with this one styrofoam tube that comes out of one of the holes I'll do it with the other alien sculpture and then after that I'll make another alien sculpture in green that will go into the fourth hole so and I will I will make videos of making the sculptures and then I will eventually make a video and I will sh show the entire alien spacecraft and maybe I will even create a drama drama play as I have made before in the past on one of my other channels. I don't know whether it was on this channel or the others. I will make a drama play with my in vitro meat plant sculptures. They are like this size, like the aliens that I'm making. And they are all up there in the staircase on that plateau. That's an whole, it's a whole garden, a whole paradise already of in vitro as I call them in vitro meat plant sculptures they have some some of them are abstract some of them are like thick fat palm trees some of them are like little people or animals or hybrid animals and all in abstracted way the, the way I like to shape them and so I think I will make a drama play with that spaceship and I will bring my other in vitro meat plants and they will come and visit that spaceship and they will interact with the aliens. <clears throat> so I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll just... The best is always actually when I make something that is completely improvised. You know, like not some kind of pre-written story. I'm also not very good with pre-writing stories so I'm actually better improvising and and just figuring out the story as I go so that's always the funniest and the most fun to play with like a child you know and that's where we want to come back to that childlike state you know where where we create, where we invent, where we play around with sculptures and toys. And we make our own sculptures, we create artwork. That's the state of mind that I want to see in the world. I want everyone to love themselves and, and be natural people 
and allow themselves to be back in that childlike state and actually and not in form of a fetish or in form of some kind of drama or some kind of anger or no just out of just simple childlike curiosity and playfulness and loving themselves out of a wholesome state of mind okay so that's what i want to see in the world that people heal themselves and become natural people again where there is no more pressure cooker no more tension no more expectation fulfillment of society okay so you guys take care bye bye